everyone. I really like to play around with different colors and color schemes for my fonts or presentations or backgrounds. There are two sites I normally turn to and I'm going to highlight those in this video today. I have a blank slides presentation and remember you can do this in anything that has the ability to add a hex code or an RGB code. For this purpose, I'm just gonna show a Google Slides presentation and I'm also gonna highlight doing this in Canva as well. The first one is coolers.co. And I immediately come down and do explore trending palettes. Once here, I can just scroll forever and look at all the different palettes available. If you find a color palette that you really like and might use a lot, you actually have the ability if you sign in or sign up for a free account, which I don't have at the moment, I always use this just without a sign in, you can save them into your library and view your color palettes that you like. With the three dots on any palette, you have options here based on what you wanna use the palette for. So just to show you how simple it is to use this site, I'm not even signed in, I don't have an account. I've explored palettes and let's say I like this one. If I wanna use this, I would just click on the hex code and it's automatically copied to my clipboard. And let's say I wanna make this my background. So I click background in my slides, I choose color and I do custom and I go to the plus sign under custom and I control V and paste that color in there. I can either hit enter or say okay and it changes the background to the color for me and then I select done. And so now I have that background. Going back to the palette, I can say that I want all my text in this yellow color. So I can highlight some of my text and then come to the font color, do custom again, plus sign, control V to paste it in there, say okay. And now I have that in there. If at any time I need to use that color again, I don't have to go back to coolers. I can just highlight my text, go to the text color option and click the yellow because it saves it in that presentation. Same thing with going to Canva. I already opened a design in Canva and I decided I don't want this green color for my KWL chart. If I click on the chart, it opens up a box with my background color and I can click on that and I can go back to coolers and I can say, I want it to be this color green. So I copy it just like I did for the presentation and slides and I come over here, but this time it has like a search menu so I can control V and populate that here. And look, it even gives me other color options that are in that arena. But if I wanna select the one I did, it changes the color then. And you can do that with anything with a color option. You just have to look and see where those hex codes go. I really like coolers for choosing some color palettes that are already presented for me in a really nice way. So the next one I really like to use is actually a Chrome extension. It's called Colorzilla. So go to the Chrome web store, type in Colorzilla, and you can add the Chrome extension up here. And what this does is it allows me to pick colors based on what page I'm on. So I can do this pick color from page. So I click on it and it opens this and I can point at anything. My plus sign is down here on this green and the little square up here will change to that green color. So if you pay attention and then all I have to do is click on it. I didn't click on the hex code, but do you see it actually copied the hex code for me? If I come back here, or maybe I'll show you in Canva and I paste control V, there's that color right in there. And I did that using the color picker. So let's say I was doing a presentation about Canva and I really wanted to use Canva colors. And so Canva is very specific to that green color and this purple color. So maybe I wanna use that throughout my presentation just to emphasize Canva. So I can come up here to my colorzilla, click on it. I wanna use the page color picker and I'm gonna hover over the Canva icon over here to get that nice pretty like blue green color. And I'm just gonna click on it. And see, it copied it to my clipboard and I can come over here and I'm gonna change the background of this to the icon color of Canva. And so now that's there. Now I want to make all my text the purple from Canva. I would go back to the Canva website, select the color picker, and then I'm gonna hover over the purple and just click on it. And it automatically copies that code. And I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna highlight my text go to the font color, custom, paste, say okay, and now my text. So everything I did on this slide for this presentation resembles the feel and look of Canva. I hope this is helpful to you to just create more appealing presentations or documents or resources that you're creating for your students.